this was you. This is a very long. <laughs> I recorded with Jimmy Hendrix and Janis Joplin. Albert King and Stevie Ray Vaughan. Kicking it. Kicking it old style. Blues and something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah. You remember how we used to sell down? Sure enough, dude, cuz. When we get tired of jumping and up and down, you know, in the club, you know. Crank it up a little bit. Gonna crank it up a little bit. Everybody ready? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Gonna crank it up. Stevie Ray Vaughan. That's what I'm talking about right there, folks. volume down just a little bit and say hey it's time for the shame of the day <laughs> so glad you're here I'm Mark McClain Hunter Green you call me what you want to call me just don't call me late for supper we're having some fun already oh wow middle of the work week and uh, we are enjoying life or at least I know I am. I hope you guys are doing the exact same thing. If you're not enjoying life, then maybe you should sort of step back, step back on and look at yourself and reevaluate. That's right. Mm. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you guys, and I'm being as sincere and as honest as possible. Life is truly, and I know this, this is very, very cliche. For that, I apologize, but it's one of the, probably one of the most accurate sayings that I can think of right now, offhand. Life is truly what you make of it. It is, I mean, if I wake up in the morning and I say, oh man, I feel like crap. Today is gonna suck. I could almost bet you guys an entire year of, of paychecks that your day is gonna suck. Just because of that particular statement that particular mood setting statement that started your day off on the wrong foot on the wrong side of the bed it doesn't have to be that way sure life sucks life sucks for me just life like life sucks for you guys sometimes from time to time it's gonna suck for everybody okay and I'm not here to preach or jump on my soapbox or any of the, you know, kinds of crap a lot of people may accuse me of. I'm not here for that reason. I'm here to share the great gospel of shaving. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, here he comes, the Reverend Ernest Lee Sincere. Down here. Hello, friends. <laughs> I just want to say a few words <laughs> about them discotheques <laughs> and all of them there bars that are going on around town. People's in there a gyrating <laughs> and a bouncing and a grinding <laughs> and they're getting their grooves on. <laughs> and I want to say this about that. <laughs> If you're one of them, then I guarantee you're getting touched it in the wrong places. <laughs> okay, Reverend Ernest Lee Sincere, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Reverend. Appreciate you stopping by. And that's it. I have fun in life. Everybody's gonna have their opinions. People are going to tell you what they think, even though you may not want them to. I have figured it out, though. An opinion is like 
a little old ugly brown eyed bunghole. An opinion is like a butthole. Everybody's got one and some of them are gonna stink a lot more than others. That's just the way it is. Okay, that's enough of my philosophical, philosophical preaching. Not philosophical, philosophical. That's a difference. Okay, I'm gonna get on with the shave of the day. I am glistening as you can see and I am desperately in need of a shave. Oh, look at me, baby, look at me. Oh yeah, I need a shave, but I need a little more music. And I need a little drink. Lipton Diet Green Tea Citrus. <laughs> I want to know though, are you guys having fun in life? If you're not having fun, then I feel sorry for you guys, because seriously, when I said that earlier that uh, life is what you make it, it truly is. If you think life's gonna suck, then you're right. It's gonna suck. If you get up in the morning and you wanna make it nice and enjoyable, very pleasurable and have some fun, then you can do that too. Just gotta do it. You gotta do it to it, that's it. My shaving brush today is the Hulk. Yes, I have been rotating or trying to rotate and uh, not use the Hulk as much as, you know, the others because this is one of my favorites. It really is, and I love it. But life is short. You know, it's what you make of it. So I want to use this brush, and that's what I'm using today. I was going to use the Gillette Slim Adjustable Razor today. But I decided I wanted to use my red tip Gillette because it reminds me of my dad. This is the razor, in case you haven't heard, the style razor that my dad got me into wet shaving years and years ago. This particular style, the red tip TTO, twist to open Gillette. And there's a blade already in here. I've got it prepared. What is it? The Gillette seven o'clock. Yeah, the seven o'clock sharp edge. That's what I've got inside right now. It's an awesome blade. It's not too aggressive. It works great for me. And whatever works great for you, use it, okay? The Gillette Silver Blue is another one of my favorites, and I started to use this one, but I thought, nah, I'm going to use the 7 o'clock, so that's what I'm using today with my Twist to Open Gillette Red Tip Double Edge Safety Razor. Love this razor. A buddy of mine, Jimmy Abbott, gave it to me because he knew it was something my dad had uh, started me out learning on. And I was uh, very happy to, to get that from a, a buddy like that in the wet shaving community. The shave soap I'm using today is from Crown King. And yes, you know it. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Crown Kings. There you have it right there. Crown Kings, lavender and cedar. Lavender, cedar. And I'm gonna be following it up with their matching aftershave and cologne. That's right, good stuff right there. And best of all, it smells nice. Oh, I love cedar. For some reason, I, I don't know, maybe it's because my grandmom years and years ago, she had, well, she had two pieces of bedroom furniture, uh, furniture or furnishings. Uh, one was a cedar chest from Lane. Remember the Lane brand cedar chests? This was uh, originally designed as incentive to buy their huge lane shiffer robes, they called them, which was like a, a huge cabinet with doors and mirrors. And uh, it had a huge door section where there were drawers to put all of your undergarments. And then you open the door and you hang your clothing. My grandmom had one of those too and Lane made it. 
lane cedar chests. So they would also uh, hand out these promotional cedar chests miniatures. A lot of people called them jewelry boxes. Do you, re you recall what I'm talking about? I'm talking about the small lane jewelry boxes, a lot of people call them. The little cedar chests, you open them up and some of them even had a little keyhole and it smelled wonderful because it smelled like cedar. Uh, that smells like cedar too and it reminds me of my grandmom and some of the old times. You know, this is a Kokum butter shave soap. And uh, I have come to find that Kokum butter or cocoa butter, whatever you want to call it, does an excellent job for me as far as uh, latherability goes. So that's why I like it. Oh, I got to show you this, by the way. This is my two-toned mustache bandana. <laughs> You like that, guys? Yeah, thanks. My wife got me that. And, uh, oh, my neighbor got me this. One of my favorite all-time horror flicks. Night of the Living Dead. Uh, they're coming to get you, Barbara. Remember that? What an ass that brother was. Barbara's brother was the one who was walking around in the cemeteries pointing at the elderly gentleman in the back area saying, they're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> and uh, the bad thing was, they were. <laughs> they were actually coming to get Barbara, but they were coming to get him first. In fact, uh, he ended up bashing his head and falling and bashing his head, not necessarily in that order, but he fell and bashed his head on the uh, one of the tombstone corners and uh and later on i think maybe around 2010 was it they made the um they actually made the color version and uh, with some different actors and a great job too you know originally that show the first version of course night of the living dead in the black and white version it came out released by some students, some college students. I think it was more or less a, one of their film projects. They borrowed like $10,000 to produce it. That was all, that's all they had. And they produced that show, the original, which soon became a cult classic as they call it today. Excellent show. All right, moving on, I was gonna tell you a little bit about uh, this particular shave soap, which I like. Crown King's Lavender Cedar. Anyway, they said that when they discontinued this very popular Lavender Cedar, they knew there would be some backlash. So evidently that's what they got, but they didn't expect the wet shaving community to make as much noise as they did. So they had to bring it back because of that. Uh, so what you need to do is get some while you still have the chance. This is available today. Uh, lavender cedar is a sort of a sweet uh, yet floral scent. You can actually smell the, the floral part. The floral aspect is there. Sort of a another part I like, and it's the woody type cedar part. And look at that. I mean, that is excellent stuff right there. It's a classic, a classic scent. Sort of a timeless blend, you might say, but sort of reminds you of an old Victorian style barber shop. But uh, I like it. I think you guys will too. Uh, let me see what some of the specifics are. It says, uh, many have sworn there is tallow in our CK formula. CK meaning uh, crown king, but evidently not. Our CK high butter formula is loaded with high quality ingredients, giving you the closest shave and leaving your post shave skin feeling smooth and soft. Aside from the kokum, shea and cocoa butters, you'll also find avocado oil, the ultimate cocktail of skin food. And though it may seem as such, there is zero tallow or lanolin in this formula. It is a vegan style formula and I believe this is the four ounce tub let me check to make sure yeah four ounce tub right here so I'm going to get that going 
And uh, this is going to be my bowl, my Red Cross bowl that I will be uh, utilizing today. So uh, go ahead and wet my bristles from my Razor Rock Hulk, the Hulk, uh, 34 millimeter knot. I love this brush, it's wicked. Also, I have to say a special uh, thanks to my buddy, Rich, uh, shaving with Rich because uh, he did help me uh, with wet shavers to the rescue and a good buddy of mine, Danny Hazard, who was in desperate need. His uh, cat, I believe it was, chewed up his plastic razor. He had a plastic razor and that was no good, you know, so... He made an appeal to me and asked if there was anything possible that perhaps myself or anyone in the wet shaving community could do to help him out. And uh, so I contacted Rich, as you probably saw in the last uh, couple of videos that I have posted. And it mentioned the fact that uh, Danny was in need and wet shavers to the rescue came to Danny's aid, to his rescue. He was very thankful. In fact, you can read his comments below in those videos if you'd like. And uh, he was very grateful, and I am thankful for him as uh, being such a kind-hearted, thankful person. Sure, Wet Shavers to the Rescue is designed to help people, and that's what we want. If you'd like to help out Wet Shavers to the Rescue and help benefit others in your wet shaving community, then feel free to contact my buddy Rich Hansen. Look him up on Facebook. Rich Hansen, Shaving with Rich is one of his uh, accounts. You can check him out. Send him a direct message or better yet, message me. Feel free to do so at Hunter Greenbro. There's the, there you have it right there, the email address. Hunter Greenbro, as in brother. Hunter Greenbro at yahoo.com. This is the pre-shave I have on today, coming from the, the local place here called the Farmer's Daughter Soap Company in Paducah, Kentucky, downtown. And this is beard oil, Kentucky bourbon. It smells of very strong vanilla, which I love. All right, I have loaded the bristles up on the Hulk. I want to call it the Hulk Meister for some reason, but it's uh, Razor Rock. I'm very tempted just to lather direct to the face, but I won't. I'm just going to add some water droplets right into the bowl and just start stirring from the bowl. It's uh, it's already loaded up. I just want to, to create a good lather, a good quality lather with the scent that I have come to like. Lavender and cedar, yeah. CK. You know it. Mmm, that smells good. I really like this Crown King stuff. Also known as uh, <laughs> Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. So, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Yes, but there it goes. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. Lather getting really thick. Look at that, folks. Look at this. Wow, I like it, I like it. Dropping big globs everywhere. Man, this is awesome. First time I've used this particular soap too, by the way. And it's extra, extra warm. It's almost like barbershop quality heated soap lather. You know that you get out of one of those little machines they always pump out? But uh, better, actually better need a little music, don't we? Yeah. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is an amazing lather. Look at that, folks. <laughs> of course, it's an amazing brush. Look at that. This is just so wild. I am thoroughly impressed. Douglas Smythe, my buddy, I give you two thumbs up. You know that. You know that. You know I give you two thumbs up. 
one of the fine artisans in the shaving community, in the wet shaving community, that is a good guy and uh, got some great product. I like it. And you know, after all that I did just there, watch this. Just squeeze this and look at that, folks. Can you believe that? I mean, wow. Look at that right there. That is just wild. I am, I am thoroughly thrilled. Hot, hot soap, hot water. Don't you know, don't you know. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Red tip, Gillette. Very simple, great razor. Not too aggressive. Excellent, excellent shaving razor. I love it. All right, gonna check the beard line just to knock some of that off so I can see. I just got a uh, a beard thinning and also got a uh, haircut obviously wow you know i need some good good old shaving music don't i I mean, that's some great music to get down to right there. I love that kind of music. But, I think I need some good old shaving music. How about some of that? All right, let me see here. Let me get this going. Do, 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 do. I don't want to get some of that soap all over my tablet because, man, I've got copious amounts of soap. That's a good song right there. I love, 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 love this stuff. Sounds like Freddie King. I'm not sure though. Yeah, that's who that is. Anyway, here we go. This is some wet shaving music that I'm going to be playing next, okay? From Tim Tim. I'm gonna put a little more water inside the bowl and uh, start whipping up some more. More lather. There's plenty. Soap. Shake, shake, shake. 
Daniels music, don't you think? I like that sort of cool. How about some Celtic Woman? You like that? One of my favorites. I love those ladies. That's just not one of my favorite songs. Good stuff, though. I mean, they are really on the ball, those ladies. I like them. Sweet. Let me see what else can What else can they do? Surely they can do better than that. I think. Uh, maybe something else. There's one of uh, many songs they do that's uh, right among the top, for me at least. But that's not it. This is an awesome soap. I love it. Love it. Upward Pass. I like it. This is the song. having fun you're wasting your time life is short I mean it folks it's so short if you're not enjoying your friends your relatives your loved ones then you're missing out you were missing out shoot you really are enjoy each other come on I am finished that was great though <laughs> yeah, great job. Nice little razors right there. Whew. I wish you could see this whiskers that are in the bottom of the sink. Amazing.
Crown King Lavender and Cedar Aftershave Cologne. Oh yeah. Post Shave Balm, Calvin Klein's Dark Obsession for Men. Uh, almost got this yesterday in their uh, their spray. Uh, I guess it would be their spray cologne at uh, Ulta Cosmetics for Women and Men. Ulta, U-L-T-A. Have you heard of that place? Calvin Klein's Dark Obsession. They have some and the aftershave or cologne. And yeah, uh, man, it just, the scent is wild. It's just great. Good stuff. And uh, this stuff is a, a excellent post-shave balm. As a pro. And it will definitely help you to moisturize and, uh, you know, get your skin back where it needs to be after going through all that scraping down of your skin and getting all the whiskers sheared down it makes for a perfect shave and folks that's what i've had i have had a perfect shave right there you witnessed it in fact you know i can i can say clearly after, after i take my last drink of the shave mm, i have truly reached Oh, status, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Got my mustache going. And I appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching. It means so much to me, guys and gals. It really does. And if I could shake your hands personally, I would. I want to say that... Um, to the winners of the contest uh, recently, our uh, giveaway not long ago, your prizes have been mailed out along with uh, the second prizes for consolation prizes for the other two uh, contestants who came in as uh, qualifiers. And uh, I thank you guys for playing that awesome fun game that we did. That was great. Maybe we'll do it again in the future if you like, okay? As the numbers keep coming up, we'll find out from there. Okay. Keep your friendship with one another tight. Keep it tight. Love your fellow brother and sister. Have fun everywhere you go. Like I said, life is short and it is what we make it. Make it a happy life, okay? It's totally up to you. No one else can control it. Why should you allow them to live in your mind or your heart rent free? Don't do it. You run the old brain and you can control who goes up and down in the elevator to the heart, to the mind, right? Think about that one. It makes sense if you think about it. I meant to show you guys earlier what I'm carrying as my EDC for today and I, I didn't do it, so here we go. Today I'm carrying this Stephen Tedford Fireborn Swords Tedford Knives. Look at that thick piece of steel, one solid piece, fixed blade, ATS 34 steel with an RC hardness rating of 62, I believe. Yeah, ATS 34 steel, 62 RC, dated July of 2013, Stephen Tedford. He actually allowed me to help design this blade and uh, I love it. He said that with this blade, you could chop down a, a sapling or you could spread peanut butter and jelly. Totally 
an all around go-to knife. That's what it is. And it fits so perfectly in the hand. That's it. Thanks again, guys. Get shave on. Peace. <laughs>